Radio Rahim here with Dominic Brazil. You know, Dominic, you've been on a lot of big cards. You, obviously, you're climbing your way up in that heavyweight division. There's a lot of contenders now, maybe even more names out there than when you began. So how do you see the heavyweight division and your climb to the top? What's your path? Yeah, me at the top, man. No, nothing else. Uh, no, man, there's a, top, a ton of top contenders out there. You know, Deontay's doing a great job. we got some young guys that I fought in the Olympics as well, and Anthony Joshua. Um, I think there's a dude down in New Zealand that's doing some great things, uh, Joshua Parker. Um, but, you know, it's it, it's one of those things, man. We all, we all fight our best. Every time we come out and fight, we, we, we try to fight the best we can and just perform. Uh, you got to get better than the last fight, and that's what I plan on doing on Saturday night. You know, you mentioned Anthony Joshua. He's just won the British title. That's a fighter that you guys are somewhat around the same part place in your career. Is that a fight that you see as a possibility for your near future? I definitely think so. I think uh, the title's got to be at, at hand for sure for some situation like that. I mean, it makes for a big fight, he being, him being from Great Britain and, and, and just winning the Britain title. And myself here lining up pretty soon to fight for a title myself, uh, I think it's going to be uh, something to look forward to for sure. Now, when you say you lining up yourself to fight for a title, what title are you looking at? What title are you fighting for? I'm looking for all of them, man. But uh, primarily, man, I'm coming after Charles Martin, man. The way he won that belt on Saturday was, you know, upsetting. You know, to win it on a in no contest type of a deal, you know, and no, no, no shot to Glasgow. But, you know, he, he ruined his knee. He wasn't able to compete, whatever it may be. Uh, Charles had a, a given to him. You know, it was a gift. He hand wrapped it and, 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 and delivered it in one day, let's say, let's say, you know. Um, and on top of that, you know, Charles Martin ducked me. He, he kind of kind of got shy and, and, and ran away when it was coming to fight, you know, December 12th in San Antonio there. So, you know, it's heavy on my heart, man. I want to get it back. And now that he's got a title, he's got to give me a shot, man. He's got to give me an opportunity. Uh, you know, the other guy that has a heavyweight title, one of the other guys, is promoted by your same promoter. Obviously, Deontay Wilder is carrying that WBC. Do you think if you can get that Martin fight and that win, would that set you up then for a Wilder fight? Yeah, I believe so. Definitely. Anytime you're holding the title shot, they're going to give you more respect than you know that you, you should or should have. Um, Deontay Wilder is doing a great job defending the belt right now. He did a great job last Saturday. Had a little bit of trouble in the beginning rounds, uh, but you know finished up the show later on that evening. Um, you know, it, it's one of those situations. You, you you fight for one belt, and it's kind of just a trickle effect, and you fight for another and another. Um, you know, Al is doing a great job. You know, managing me so far, and, and I appreciate it. Who do you see as? the heavyweight champion of the world right now and then it may not be the same who do you think is the best heavyweight champion other than yourself or, or the best heavyweight champion you're not the champion yet so give me give me that lineup no, I, I couldn't give you a best heavyweight champion. You know, Deontay Wilder's got the WBC belt. He's done a great job, like I said, defending it. Um, but has he fought the caliber fighter that he should as a world-renowned heavyweight champ? I don't believe so. Tyson Fury, man, did a great job upsetting you know, Klitschko, but at the same time, it was an ugly fight. Nobody wants to watch two big guys kind of slug at each other and swagger back, put your hands back, and switch southpaw. It's not what boxing fans are looking for. Um, so to say there's a best heavyweight champ out there, not so much. But one that's going to defend the belts and do a good job doing it is Tyson Fury, for sure. Now, it doesn't take much at this time for a heavyweight fighter to make a name for himself there's not that many in the conversation so on Saturday night you have to make a statement talk to me about how you feel you can make that statement against your opponent um, I think the best thing for me is, you know, of course, having coming out and having a great performance, but but winning um, unanimously, just you know, winning like, like a landslide, uh, impressively, whether it be a boxing skill type of a situation or a uh, Nakamura Mansoura, which I'm planning on doing. Um, it's one of those things uh, when when all these fans come to the arena, you know, 13,000, 15,000 fans come to the arena. If they're not a Dominic Brazil fan, by the time they get there, they're definitely going to be one when they leave. You talk about these fans, maybe not a Dominic Brazil fan yet, but they'll learn about you by the end of that fight. What are people going to say in 2016? This has got to be a year that you break through. By the end of this year, this time next year, let's say, what are they going to be talking about, Dominic Brazil? Man, uh, somebody said to me the other day, they say Dominic, Dominic Brazil in 2016 is going to be looking fresh and clean. So that's what I'm shooting for, man. <laughs> fresh and clean. Yeah. Well, you're well on your way, man. Nice suit. You're looking fresh. You're going to be clean. Saturday, the 23rd at Staples Center. Check out Dominic Brazil, Radio Raheem.